Hello, this is Kathy Pangborn. The knowledge tip from CS3 today is on how to build a parameter within a crystal report. A parameter is a convenient way to filter records out of a crystal report without having to build the formula over and over each time. Typically, if we wanted to take this report and just show three departments, we would typically come up to Report, Select Expert, and Record. We would select the field that represents department. Our operator would be is one of, and then we would identify the three values that we wanted to see for those departments. When I go ahead and say OK and refresh, now you will see that I'm looking at three different departments over here in my grouping tree. If you have a user that is not as crystal savvy or is not comfortable with creating the select expert formulas, a parameter is a solution for that. To create a parameter, we come over to our field explorer box. If you do not have your field explorer box showing, you simply click on the icon right below the help. Select parameters, right click, and select new. The first thing we do is name our parameter. I'm going to put department. This is a string type. If I drop that down, you will see that I also have options of doing a number or a date. The value field is the field that we are filtering against. So I will scroll down and find P underscore level 2 which represents my department value. If I click on Actions and I say Import, I have the option of importing a list. If you have all the values within the departments, you can import that list from an outside source. I also can append all database values, which simply will go through and look at all of the values for P underscore level 2 and pull those into my drop-down box. You have options down below that allow you to identify things such as a default value or allow custom values. This is where a person could key in their own value versus just selecting from the drop-down. Or possibly allow to select multiple values. That is a feature I use quite often. I will turn that on to allow me to select more than one department. Once I have named my parameter, I've identified the type, I've selected the field that I want the system to look at, I've populated my values using actions and set any value options, I click on OK, and now you will see that we have a field called departments. I'm going to click back on my design and now I will drag that field onto the header of my report. It can be placed anywhere, but I typically will drag it onto the header. Even if the header is suppressed, that is fine. At this point, we go up to Report, Select Expert, Record, and instead of having this set to where I physically have to select the values inside the Select Expert, I will say that this is equal to, and now when I do my drop down, you will see that my parameter is available. I click on OK. And now when I refresh my report and prompt for new values and click on OK, I have a box that appears that I can select the manufacturing, the marketing, and the HR department. When I click on OK, I now have Manufacturing, Marketing, and HR. That is how you create a parameter within Crystal Reports. Thank you.